Venice, Los Angeles, California, lived a girl whose father was a famous musician. Wow, her mother was an actress. So I guess people did imagine that one day she would become a famous actress, singer, and model known as Zoe Kravitz. But how did Zoe become a celebrity? Did she become a celebrity? Did she suffer from anorexia and bulimia? Did her parents divorce when she was only five? Did fate seemingly have a hand in saving her life? Does she really have 20 tattoos or more? Did she really date X-Men co-star Michael Fassenbender? What was her life like before fame? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more. Since this is A S M R Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this re helps you get This is the tale of Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz was born in Venice, Los Angeles, California. At the home of her parents, actress Lisa Bonet and musician Lenny Kravitz. Both of her parents are of half African-American and half Ashkenazi Jew. Both of her parents are of half African-American and half Ashkenazi Jewish descent. Her paternal grandmother, actress Roxy Roker, a first cousin once removed of television weather forecaster Al Roker, and her maternal grandfather, Alan Bonet, were African-American, with some of her grandmother's family being from the Bahamas. Her paternal grandfather, NBC television news producer Cy Kravitz, and maternal grandmother Arlene Lippmann were both of Jewish heritage. Zoe identifies as a secular Jew. Kravitz's parents married in 1987 and divorced six years later in 1993 when she was five. She lived with her mother in Topanga Canyon and then moved to Miami at age 11 to live with her father, spending summers with her mother. Kravitz has a younger half-sister Lola Lolani Mamoa, and half-brother Nakoa Wolf Manakuapo Namakea Mamoa from her mother's remarriage to actor Jason Mamoa. Her godfather is movie producer Bruce Cohen, and her godmothers are actresses Marisa Tomei and Cree Summer. Kravitz attended Miami Country Day School and then Rudolf Steiner School in Manhattan, New York, where she graduated in 2007 Kravitz began studying that year at the Acting Conservatory at the State University of New York at Purchase. She left college after a year and moved to Brooklyn, New York to work in films. She struggled with anorexia and bulimia throughout high school until around age 24. Kravitz landed her first film role while in high school playing a babysitter hired by Catherine Zeta-Jones's character in the 2007 romantic comedy, No Reservations. That same year, she also appeared in the action thriller, The Brave One. In 2008, Kravitz appeared in the music video for Jay-Z's I Know and was featured singing in Will I Am's music video for We Are The Ones in support of US presidential candidate Barack Obama. That same year, she also appeared in the family drama Birds of America and neo-noir comedy Assassa That same year, she also appeared in the family drama Birds of America and neo-noir comedy Assassination of a High School President. 
In 2009, Kravitz co-starred in the independent ensemble drama The Greatest, in which her character is addicted to grief counselling groups. In 2010, she appeared in It's Kind of a Funny Story. Also that year, Kravitz appeared in Twelve. Kravitz next starred in the romantic comedy Beware the Gonzo as the female lead and love interest of Ezra Miller's eponymous Gonzo. In 2011, Kravitz appeared in the coming-of-age film Yelling to the Sky. She also appeared in eight episodes of the Showtime television series Californication, in which she portrayed Pearl, the vocalist of the all-female band Queens of Dogtown. That same year, she portrayed the comic book character Angel Salvadori in X-Men First Class. Kravitz filmed her scenes in London and performed wire work for her role to simulate her character's ability to fly. In 2011, Kravitz completed work on a film with the working title Treading Water, which was eventually released in 2013 and renamed The Boy Who Smells Like Fish. In 2013, she co-starred in After Earth. In 2014, she portrayed the character Christina in Divergent. Kravitz reprised her role in the sequels Insurgent and Allegiant. Also in 2014, she starred in the independent drama The Road Within and the romantic comedy Pretend We're Kissing. She also appeared in the drama Good Kill. In 2015, Kravitz appeared in the comedy drama Dope and in Mad Max Fury Road. In 2016, she co-starred in the action thriller Vincent N. Roxy and appeared in the independent film Adam Green's Aladdin. Kravitz also had a cameo in the Harry Potter spin-off Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them as Letta Lestrange. In 2017, Kravitz starred in the mystery thriller Gemini. That same year, she also appeared in the comedy film Rough Night and the animated superhero film The Lego Batman Movie, in which she voiced the comic book character Selina Kyle, Catwoman. From 2017 to 2019, Kravitz starred in the HBO drama series Big Little Lies, in which she portrays Bonnie Carlson. Kravitz appeared in the 2018 science fiction action film Kin and reprised her role as Letta Lestrange in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, in a larger capacity. Also, in 2018, she appeared on BBC Children in Need with Eddie Redmayne, setting up Alex Jones from The One Show with the help of children feeding the answers to the interview questions. In 2020, Kravitz headlined the romantic comedy web television series High Fidelity, which premiered on February 14, 2020 on Hulu. Kravitz is, also Kravitz is also set to star as one of the leads in Vienna and The Phantoms and in Black Bell as a gunslinger in the American Old West. Kravitz will... Want Kravitz will once again portray Selina Kyle, Catwoman, now in live action, in director Matt Reeves' The Batman, which is scheduled for release on June the 25th, 2021. Kravitz has modelled in fashion magazines such as French Julius, Venus Zine and Elle. She was named the face of Vera Wang's Princess Fragrance in 2009, appearing on the website and in advertisements for the brand. Kravitz starred in a campaign for fashion designer. Kravitz starred in a campaign for fashion designer Alexander Wang in 2010 and represented Vera Wang's new preppy princess fragrance in 2011. In 2013, Kravitz released a jewelry line in collaboration with the Spa In 2013, Kravitz released a jewellery line in collaboration with the Swarovski Crystal Company. She used ethnic and vintage jewellery and her birthstone, turquoise, as inspiration for her designs. 
She became the face of Brooklyn-based designer Alexis Bittar's jewellery in 2015. Kravitz was ranked one of the best-dressed women in 2018 by fashion website Netta Porter. Kravitz began making music at the age of 16. She fronted the New York-Philadelphia-based band Elevator Fight, which she formed in 2009. The band performed at the South by South... The band performed at the South by Southwest Music Festival and on the main stage of the Roots Picnic in Philadelphia in June 2009, along with the Roots, TV on the radio and the Black Keys. She stated in 2011 that her music is her hobby. She also performed with the cabaret troupe The Citizens Band. Kravitz started the band Lola Wolf in Los Angeles while filming The Road Within. Made up of members of the band Reputant, Lola Wolf released an epo- Made up of members of the band Rep- Made up of members of the band Reputant, Lola Wolf released an eponymous EP and debuted at the Mercury Lounge in November 2013. The band was named after Kravitz's younger siblings Lola and Nakoa Wolf. They released their debut album. They released their debut album, Calm Down, on October the twenty first, two thousand and fourteen, and supported Lily Allen, Miley Cyrus. They released their debut album, Calm Down, on October the twenty first, two thousand and fourteen, and supported Lily Allen, Miley Cyrus, and Warpaint on tour in two thousand and fourteen. The band released the five-track EP every fucking day on June the 23rd, 2015. In 2018, Kravitz was featured on the song Screwed on Janelle Monae's album. In 2018, Kravitz was featured on the song Screwed on Janelle Monae's album Dirty Computer. She was also featured on Antisocial Smokers Club on Ray Sremud's she was also featured on Antisocial Smokers Club on Ray Sremud's third album, SR3MM. She briefly dated Ezra Miller while they were filming Beware the Gonzo. After co-starring in X-Men First Class with Michael Fassbender, the two dated for almost a year and are still friends. She was in a relationship with actor Penn Badley from 2011 until 2013. In 2016, Kravitz began a relationship with actor Carl Glusman. Kravitz revealed in an interview published in October 2018 that she had become engaged in February of that year. The two were married at Kravitz's father's home in Paris, France, on June 29, 2019. While she was on tour with her band, Zoe said in an interview that one of the buses she was meant to be on was involved in a horrible accident. Looking back, it was obviously shocking to know that it was the same bus she almost ended up touring with. She has nearly 20 tattoos. Most of them are very small, but detailed enough to be unique. Most of them are small, but detailed enough to be unique. We're sure that every tattoo has a very specific meaning to Zoe, and they're all beautiful and one of a kind. The last she counted, it was between 18 and 19, but any tattoo lover knows that number is bound to grow. And so ends the tale of the famous actress, singer and model Zoe Kravitz, who lived happily ever after in the world of stardom.